Black holes are the most extreme objects in the universe. And I think what's really exciting is that we live at a very, very special time in the history of physics and black hole physics in particular, where we're finally able now to interact with these objects. Only in the late 80s, I think, Indirect evidence for the presence of black holes in certain galaxies finally changed most people's minds. But we still didn't have direct contact with black holes until the last decade. First with LIGO, the uh, laser interferometer for a gravitational wave observatory that discovered the first gravitational waves produced by two black holes merging. So that was a direct probe through gravity of real black holes in the sky. Really amazing moment. And then uh, very soon after in 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope released the first image of a black hole. So now we can hear them through gravitational waves and we can even see them. And that's absolutely a remarkable shift because this purely theoretical subject, which used to be even quite esoteric and people even think black holes were, were a thing for a long time, uh, now is an experimental science, and it, it's an experimental science that is at the uh, observational frontier in, in astronomy. And I think we're going to learn so much about all these different phenomena that, that have really been mysterious for so long. Um, and that's a really exciting time to be working in this field. The Black Hole Explorer is this really exciting proposed space mission to launch a satellite into Earth orbit that will take the sharpest images in the history of astronomy and allow us to make high resolution movies of black holes. And one of the main targets of this experiment is this so-called photon ring, which is a very thin, narrow ring of light that is predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity to encircle this dark patch in a black hole image that is produced by the event horizon. So um, our theoretical predictions coming again from our best theory to date, which is Einstein's theory of general relativity, predicts that when you look at an image of a black hole, you, you should roughly see two main features. One is a dark patch, which is often called the black hole shadow that's cast by the black hole because the event horizon absorbs light. Around this dark patch, you should see a very thin ring of light that we call the photon ring, and this ring of light is produced by photons, particles of light, that orbit around the black hole possibly multiple times on their way from their source, which is some hot matter around the black hole, to the observer, which is our, our telescope. Only a black hole can bend light so much that it actually orbits around it. So this phenomenon that um, black holes can capture light and deflect their orbits so much that they get stuck in orbit around the black hole. And seeing this photon ring and confirming that it's really produced by orbiting photons would be ironclad definitive proof that the object that we're looking at really is a black hole. So you should think of this photon ring as being made up of light that, that skirts the surface, never quite falling in because then it, it wouldn't be able to escape, but spending quite a lot of time there probing the geometry of space-time before escaping um, and reaching our telescopes to trace out this very special curve that encodes information about, about the geometry around the black hole. So we're, we'd be literally tracing an edge of the visible universe. Um, so that's, I mean, I think that's just inherently really, really cool. One of the things I'm most excited about in the future of uh, black hole astrophysics is that I think in the next decades, uh, certainly I hope within my lifetime, we'll get to understand in detail how um, black holes produce energy and act as these most powerful energy engines in the, in the universe. Um, and today we have um, a few proposed mechanisms for how we think this might work in detail. And I think by peering closer to black holes using many experiments, including the Black Hole Explorer, we'll be able to not just make images, but even movies of the black hole as it rotates and the matter around it swirls around. And I think uh, gathering evidence to test this hypothesis is absolutely paramount. I think it, an affirmative answer that confirms that this is the mechanism would finally tell us what powers the brightest lights in the universe. I'd like to know what, what it is. I think it's super, super cool. What higher calling could you uh, find than to try to understand the mysteries of the universe?